Less than 24 hours after consultation between President Efron Ali and opposition leader Orby Norton encountered some setbacks, President Ali quickly moved ahead with confirming the appointments of the Police Service Commission and the Integrity Commission. Three of the four members of the Police Service Commission took the oath of office before the President. Pastor Patrick Fenley will chair and the other members are attorney at law Owen Conway, businessman Ernesto Changafat and Aki Mohammed. Mohammed was not present to take the oath of office. President Ali said he was engaging the leader of the opposition on the appointments. So the president has no discretion on those names. What I sought to do was to propose a name from those approved by the National Assembly as the chair of the Police Service Commission. On May the 11th, the leader of the opposition responded saying that my response was bereft of information, notwithstanding the fact that I submitted all the information requested in his letter of May the 10th. On May the 12th, I responded asking for specific information required. On May the 13th, at our first physical meeting, the leader of the opposition requested specifically the CVs of each of the individuals. This request has been documented and was part of the joint statement issued by the leader of the opposition and the office of the president. So this was the specific information that was requested. On May the 16th, the first working day after that request, all 14 CVs were sent to the leader of the opposition. On May the 27th, I then invited the leader of the opposition to the second physical meeting. We received no response, no objections to the CVs. Instead, at 2.15 p.m. on the 16th, on, on the 30th, sorry, 15 minutes after our scheduled meeting, the Minister of Parliamentary Affairs and Governance Office received a letter from the Leader of the Opposition Office saying just one thing, the President should tell him the grounds on which he makes the, the, the nomination. On the 31st of May at 9 a.m. at the city, we delivered a letter in which I made clear that the proposed names were outstanding citizens of Guyana, as can be verified in their CVs that we shared with the leader of the opposition. Before the appointments were made, opposition leader Orby Norton said he would not be surprised if President Ali moved ahead with those appointments without consultation, but cautioned that it will be challenged in the court. I am always worried about adverse effects on our people, but there is a reality. Take the case we file against the acting commissioner. Here is a question of principle and the law. And sometimes in life we make sacrifices to get better. If the government wants to run down the road of blaming us for not having a commission, that is fine. But the principle that has to be established is that these things must be established through meaningful consultation. Let us not forget this whole idea of meaningful consultation emerged in the 2000 and the 1998 to 2001 constitutional reform in which it was argued that it can't be just you sending me documents etc that you had to consult in a meaningful way now if the government wants to violate the constitution we have to challenge it but we hope good sense will prevail and the government will recognize that their actions will affect our people adversely. It is just like the, the question of the Chancellor and the Chief Justice. 
all and sundry are calling for their appointment. I've said we agree, we are willing to appoint them. For whatever reason, the government isn't. And not only that, if you read the tone of the letters, you will recognize the arrogance of the president. Like, like if you're saying, you know, is my way or no way. Well, in a democracy, that has to be challenged, and we will challenge you. Those appointed to the Integrity Commission are Chandra Gadrach, Chairman, Attorney at Law Kim Kai Thomas, Mohammed Hanif, Hardash Tawari, and Wayne Bowman. <laughs>